Oh. Oh, it's hot. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today, we're gonna go on an adventure. We're heading to Sarasota, Sarasota, Sara, Sarasota. To be, see, how about him, bro? How about him, bro? How about him, bro? To visit my best friend Sarah in Sarasota. <coughs> Excuse me. It's hot as he he he. Got some essentials. These are a little melty melty, but delicious. Um, we got some nuts. We got some eggs. With this amazing sauce. This is from Pollo Tropical. It is like this garlic ranch dream in a plastic cup. My mouth is watering just thinking about it. Crank that AC up. Locked, loaded, reverse. And we got, I think, about a three hour drive. So, you know, I'll keep you guys updated within my trip, my journey. And if I see some cool sights, we're gonna go to, um, take the Alligator Alley route. I'm currently in North Miami, so we're heading west and a little north. So, maybe if I see some cool sights, I'll let you guys see. But it's gonna be a fun trip, to say the least. We get pretty silly together, and we're gonna hit the beach. We work out, dance tonight, party. It's Friday night, so yeah. We don't want this, baby. Mama, take you to the spot. Let's do it. Starting route to Sarasota. All right, let's get it. We out. Hey, 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 hey. Lemonade. Get out of my way. Turn left, then turn right. Hi, right, Governor. All right, so I will see you soon. Yeah, I'll give you guys a little update on my travels. It's about a three and a half hour drive, so I may need some company. But I'll let you know. In the meantime, I'm gonna jam out, and unfortunately, a lot of this music that I'm gonna listen to is it just me? It's gonna be is stop right. so, so Stay in the second lane to the right. Uh, is it just me? Yep. Yeah. All right. So I just want to jump on here and say we are currently on Alligator Alley and North right now. I have my eyes peeled. I don't know if there's actually like alligators. I'll show you. So this is Alligator Alley, now all the same shit, but it's beautiful. Green, fields, trucks, country, country vibes, I guess, maybe. Okay, so here's the, here's the situation. I'll tell you a little story. So my best friend, Sarah, lives in Sarasota. That's where we're going right now. I'm going to visit her, have some fun, reset, catch up on boys, jobs, goals, all of it. Because I spend a lot of time alone, but you do need someone that knows everything about you and no judgment, like zero judgment zone. We tell each other anything and everything. It's like we're one. I feel like you need someone like that in your life. Otherwise, you're gonna feel like it's you against the world, which sometimes it may feel like that. But to have someone that, you know, we don't spend a lot of time together, but we spend a lot of time talking on the phone every day, usually, if not every other day, if not, you know, we know what each other's up to, and if we know we're busy, we'll let a few days go by, but we know what's going on in each other's lives at all time, and we just call and catch up. It's great. So I really feel like you should have someone like that in your life. I met her in college. We play basketball together. Stay in your lane, bro. And then our school actually got a lacrosse program first year and we played lacrosse together which was great so we had a lot of fun with that and then ever since you know she lived with me after college for a summer and 
she ended up moving to Florida. So that's where I was kind of going with my story on why I ended up here. People always ask me, how'd you do it? What was the reason? Blah, blah, blah. And honestly, it was because she had lived in Sarasota for probably at least a year before I was like, damn, I really need to make a move like that. Like ever since high school, I had always wanted to leave state. I wanted to play volleyball out of state. I wanted to go to California. I wanted to play in Arizona. I wanted to play in the heat. I want to play volleyball, go to school in the warm weather. Like I hated winter and the winters in Michigan are so flipping cold. Seasonal depression is a thing, people. All right, and February rolls around and you've been hibernating for the last Three months shit gets old fast and even if you're like a snowboarder skier slash winter sports extraordinaire shit gets old but no so she lived in Florida for about a year or so and then I was like damn okay so here's my plan my job brought me to Miami in October last year right smack down Miami, Collins Street, right there. And then there's Ocean Drive, which is Miami Beach, right? On the water, hotel on the water, 12 days straight, convention center, going to the club, seeing the nightlife, seeing the beach life. And October is was a beautiful time of year. It was, it was hot, but it's not summer hot. And yeah, I loved it. I fell in love. I fell in love and I did the most. And I explored. It was great. I had a blast. And then the following month, I didn't work at all. December, I had off. And I was like, winter is coming. Winter is coming. I cannot spend another winter here in Michigan. So I packed my shit. And the plan was to Airbnb for two months, December and January, and come end of January, we get a place together. Sarasota. Excuse me. <coughs> I ate hard boiled eggs. Oh, Get a place in Sarasota and live together, and that was the plan. Boom, bow. But it didn't happen. I still loved Miami. I didn't want to leave. I actually went to visit Sarasota and experience St. Pete a little bit, but I wasn't feeling the vibe. I felt like it was older, it was slower pace, and I was loving the fast life. I was loving the glitz, the glam, the all the whatever, all that shit. Um, but it got old fast, real fast. I'm over it. Over it. Over it. No, it's okay. But it's been a year. It's been a crazy year. So yeah, I moved down in Miami, bounced around, Airbnb, Airbnb to Brickle, lived in some interesting situations, living situations. Just try to evolve. What the fuck is going on right now? You can't just leave shit in the road. Oh wait, he dropped some stuff. Country! <laughs> no, but... Where was I? Oh yeah, I bounced around. I've probably moved... I'm in my fifth place right now out of nine months. I've been doing month to month, fully furnished. I have no furniture. I have only stuff that I can fit in my car. I gave all my shit away. I didn't really have a lot of shit anyways. But that's just how I am. I just, I need to be able to up and leave if I need to for whatever reason, because that's just how I don't like to be tied down. Not right now. That's not who I am. I'm young, no kids never been married and I want to keep it that way so yeah there's a bunch of shit back there that that whole basket show you. is I'm bringing that shit to Plato's trying to sell that just a bunch of stuff that I accumulated people if you can get rid of it get rid of it don't be a hoarder materialistic things are so temporary you know your favorite sweatshirt from high school it's probably gone lost. Someone stole it. Who cares? You know, don't be the type of person to accumulate stuff. I just feel like that's our generation. Like we're all about experience. Millennials are about experience. 
they want to save their money, travel, that's what I want to do. Maybe our parents' generation, they were the ones that accumulated stuff. But that's fine because, you know, we grew up with stuff. So now we're over stuff and we want experience. And, you know, so yeah, so currently in Florida, I am staying in North Florida a little bit, but the plan is to save money because renting is a waste of money. You are throwing away your money if you're renting, which is fine, but whatever. Um, do what you gotta do out here, people. My plan, my goal is to save up, work until March, work hard, grind out. Last few months of the year, yeah, last few months of 2019, hitting the gym, cutting back on sugar. I have a huge sugar addiction. Winters are beautiful, so everyone you know comes down here for the winter because they are really nice. I'm not wanting to spend another summer here unless I find you know like a source of income that requires me to be down here, which I don't see happening. I will be conscious of that and not be tied down, and that's just how I am. I just I think I don't buy furniture. I don't. Fall in love and shit. Because if I'm falling in love, he's coming with me. Or it's not gonna work out because this is not my home. But yeah. It'll be fun, you know. I got a I got a couple things I wanna do before I leave. I really wanna check out the Bahamas, but you know, Dorian, maybe, you know, go down there still and help pick up. Yes. I don't know. Pray for them. Sarasota, check it out. Who knows? I might fall in love there. Fall in love with the place. And live there for the winter. I don't know. Yeah, but. Damn it. I'm hungry again. Look at this shit. This is expensive. This trail mix and the chocolate in it melted everywhere. I may have to stop for some food and gas. Alright, so that was just a little update. I guess I kind of like filled you in a little reason why I'm here in Florida and yeah I mean honestly for those of you who want to move or do something different now is the time your situation might not be perfect no one's situation is perfect no one's situation will ever be perfect period that's just how it is you know your financial stuff could be like up here you know at a 10 but then your family shit could be like down here at like a six and then your love life could be like down here at like a one and it's like damn you know they're not all gonna be tense it's not it's never gonna be the right moment to do the thing that you want to do you just gotta do it otherwise you're gonna let time pass you by you're gonna blink two years later like I've already been here for almost a year that's insane and it's like you gotta go for what you want you gotta go for what you think you deserve in this life because we're not getting any younger. You know, it is what it is. And if you've got a dream, if you've got a passion, if there's something that you think about every single day, you wake up and you're like, damn, if I had X amount of dollars, I would be doing this. Make it happen. Like, you gotta, you gotta sacrifice. It's time to sacrifice some things. It's time to sacrifice things that aren't benefiting you, that aren't bringing you joy and happiness relationships, living situations, if that isn't like making you evolve into the, a better person, it's it's cutting season. It's, it's got to go. 2019, we've got three more months. It's time to take control of the rest of this year. And why wait until January 1st to set your goals and follow your dreams and go for what you want right now, today. Let's go. October. I want to be in the gym every day. I want to get that body back. Everyone's got goals. It's time to pursue your passions and go for what you want. No one's going to give it to you. No one's going to hand it to you. Here you go. Here's your dream job. Here's the love of your life. Here's your dream house in this perfect state that you've always dreamt of moving to. No one's going to give it to you. It's not going to fall on your lap. You gotta just do it. Just do it. Nike. And it's gonna be scary. 
and it's gonna be tough. It's not gonna be easy, but it'll definitely be worth it. Definitely. And you're gonna look back and you're gonna think, damn, I should have done this a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, four years ago. But you know what? You can. So you kind of gotta be like, I did it now, and that was the perfect timing for me, and that was the perfect timing for God, and He did that, you know, He did that now in my life, and everything happens for a reason. I truly believe that, so day by day, make decisions today that'll benefit your tomorrow, or that'll make you grow tomorrow, because it's step by step. I am so guilty of this. I'm a big thinker. I think, 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 huge big dreams and then I think so hard and so much that I just exhausted my energy I'm like you know what okay I thought the thoughts but now I need a nap and you know what I'll put in action tomorrow or later you know I'm sure a lot of us are guilty of this but I'm also a huge lister I write things down I have an idea I write it down I write down I literally wrote down I wish I could show you my planner. I wrote down going to Sarasota today. <laughs> like, duh, bitch. Like, it's fun. Why do you got to write it down? You know, I'll write down tomorrow. Gym. Call mom. Go to the bank. Go grocery shopping. Like, stuff like that. Like, if you write it down, then you're not, it's not in your head. And then you won't get, like, over cluttered. That's just how I work, though. So write it down, don't have to worry about it, you wake up, and you, you sleep in peace, you have a sound mind, what do I got to do today? Day by day, get whatever you can done today, boom, next day, but those big dreams that you want to do and you want to achieve, they're possible, they're very possible, you're not too old, for one, so follow your dreams, follow your passions. You could have spent five years in a office job, nine to five, working for, you know, so the, big, the big boss man. But if there's something that is on your mind that you want to pursue, it's possible. It is flipping possible. So yeah, that's my little rant for today. Little solo car thoughts. You guys want to see my view? West Palm Beach Road. Where are we, governor? All right, we still got 24 miles. So it's funny, we got gas. 255, 245. Oh, they, oh yeah, 245. 242. Last night I saw gas for 235. I should have pounced on that shit, but I didn't. Damn it, I still need gas. Okay, you know what? Hold on, I'll get gas later. All right, fam bam. I'll give you an update later. We still got two and a half hours. Low fuel. If you see people that are successful at it, doing it, and you see them accomplishing this, and you're like, I can do that. You can do that. Everyone starts somewhere. The biggest thing is you just gotta put yourself out there. Just throw yourself out into the universe and just be like, this is me world. Take it or leave it. You can you can leave it, you can choose to leave it. And just be so unapologetically yourself and just have so much confidence in what you're doing and how you are. And even if you know it's not perfect, you just gotta like, like this is me take it or fucking leave it and I don't care if you fucking leave it because there will be people in your life that will take it and they'll always take it doesn't matter oh no little butterfly got smashed because you know the people in your circle your best friend your sister your brother your mom your dad your your grandpa I don't care who it is but those people have been there from the beginning and they'll be there till the end and you are your own best friend
bless me. Thank you. I said bless you to me and I said thank you. Anyways, um, you're your own motivational speaker. You're your own cheerleader. You're your own motivator. Yeah, it, it helps to have someone there to like help you here and there, but you really gotta be self-sufficient out here. It is what it is. It's you till the end. You know, like, you're going to be there at the altar with this random dude. And you're going to be there in the hospital giving birth. And then you're going to be there in the hospital when you're sick. And it's going to be you and you. And that's it. And you got to really keep, you know, like, that headspace positive and encouraging and motivating and yourself like don't be so hard on yourself I I am guilty of that I'm so I, I will literally swear at myself at the gym I used to swear when I would play volleyball I used to be like shit oh, no, no. dumbass to myself sometimes it happens but if you can bounce back from that obviously it's good but don't be so hard on yourself listen to your body listen to your mind give yourself what you need dang that's 257 yourself, push your limits, know your worth, know what you deserve in this life, time goes by so fast, so, 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 so fast, insane, and you don't want to look back and think shoulda, coulda, woulda, put it in another, I don't know what that means, but shoulda, coulda, woulda, I'm, I'm not going to live my life like that, I'm not going to do that, take risks, put yourself in uncomfortable situations to evolve from grow, learn, experience, try new foods, meet new people. I don't know. That's like the shit that I crave. I don't want what everyone's got. I don't want, I want, I want to do what everyone's doing. I don't know. You know, we're all, we're all figuring it out. 259? The fuck? Okay, hold up. I need to get gas too. 92 degrees out here. My car says 89, you lying piece of shit. Everything's gonna be good. I think. I will. Maybe. Hopefully. Probably. Most definitely. All right, over and out. Gotta get gas. All right, little update. We've got an hour and 19 minutes. All right, Sarah just said, one more hour. Okay, the thing about driving here is weird. I don't know if you guys can see it, but shit is always on fire here. What are they burning back there? Some like swamp bullshit. I don't know. Bad news. Yep, so that's my little update for y'all. Girls gotta eat. And I first saw a Dairy Queen, but I got some thing going on in my face right now, so I'm trying to cut out some dairy, trying to cut out some sugar, trying to be on my best like eating habit behavior. Um, Cause I've been working hard. I'll look at pumpkin patch. How cute! So yeah, like I said, I've been trying to cut out dairy, trying to cut out sugar. I, guess, I don't know what the fuck's going on with my skin right now, but all good. Passed by a DQ, but stumbled upon a Publix. Okay, for those of you who live in Florida and have not tried a Publix sandwich from the deli, Boar's Head Deli sandwiches are fire flame calling my name today oh my mouth is watering the chicken tender proceed to the root yes i had to make a little pit stop because i got hungry um, the chicken tender some pepper jack cheese on some whole grain bread and all the goodies and all the dressings and all the flavors Ooh, i'm excited 
and I will show you what it looks like. What do you know about it? So good. So good. I'm telling you, one of the best sandwiches ever are these Publix Boar's Head Deli Sandwiches Chicken Tender. Mmm. Goodness. Yeah, this cute wrapping pair with like smiley faces on it and shit. Look at that. Look at that. What is that? A moon? It's like a moon and like a little family. So cute. Gotta love and appreciate a good graphic designer when you see one. You know, I've, I've had many, many Subway sandwiches, Jimmy John sandwiches, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, nothing compares. To a Publix. Chicken tender sandwich. Homeboy put a little bit too much olive and oil, oil and olive oil and vinegar and oil and vinegar on it. It's a little wet, but throw that over dry any day. So, good looks, man. Good looks. Mmm. The impact no napkins, though. a rookie move. Well, the thing is they don't snip on the chicken tenders at all. When they put the chicken tenders on there, it's all chicken tenders and you're like, yo, you don't have any room for anything else. But they make it happen. So I got a little lettuce, a little banana peppers for a little spice, a little pickle. A little oil and vinegar, a little salt and pepper. But I don't think they had cucumber. I usually get a little cucumber on there, but. Ten out of ten. Mm-hmm. Alright. I want to get back on the road. Got a little over an hour left. I can see the grease on my face. I want to show you some views, but honestly, the drive here is nothing but high gas prices. Excuse me. Um, I got gas so for before. But there's gas going for like $2.59 out here. Ridiculous. All right. And I got like 20% left, so I gotta save this for my, my when I see her. So, see you soon. Oh my goodness gracious. Queenie, get the house. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, okay. all right, Roscoe. Roscoe, you crazy fucker. Roscoe. Little shithead. You little finger butt! And some casserole and some fruit, and I guess these are little, little biscuits there. Little oh, biscuit babies. Biscuit babies. Yum. Hey! Hey! Wait!